Greetings, friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sasha Velic. Welcome, friends. Well, Fox News reported this month, on September 17, 2022, about the conflict between Iran and Israel. And here is what the Fox News reported to us. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi stood firm regarding a potential nuclear deal with the United States and rejected the idea of meeting with President Biden, who he says holds a position that is no different than former President Trump. No, Raishi told CBS reporter Leslie Stahl in a 60 Minutes interview set to air on Sunday when asked if he planned to meet with Biden when the two speak at the United Nations next week. I don't think that such a meeting would happen, Raishi told a translator and continued, I don't believe having a meeting or a talk with him will be beneficial. The new administration in the U.S., they claim that they are different from the Trump administration, Raishi said. They have said it in their messages to us, but we haven't witnessed any changes in reality. Well, the idea that Iran could get frustrated with the Biden-Harris administration is very consistent with the... uh, One, the book was published in 2021. It was authored by Bob Thiel, the uh, director and the overseer of the Continuing Church of God, who is also a doctor of natural medicine. In his book, which you can find and freely download from internet, the book titled Biden-Harris, Prophecies and Destruction. So Biden, that's uh, Biden-Harris, Prophecies and Destruction. In that book related to Iran, here is a quote, Iran and prophecy. Joe Biden, Bob Thiel writes, wants to have the USA rejoin the nuclear deal with Iran that Donald Trump pulled the USA out of. He also might be more willing than the Obama-Biden administration had been to trigger enforcement provisions if he feels Iran has violated portions of the agreement. After Donald Trump's election, Iran declared it would pursue development of nuclear power ships. Nuclear powered ships, yes, indeed. Because Bible prophecy indicates that it will be primarily Arabic nations that support the final king of the south. References in the Bible are Daniel 11, verse 40 through 43, and Ezekiel 30, verses 1 through 8. Though with some probably temporary per Daniel 11, 25, support from Turkey and possibly Pakistan and or, or Afghanistan, It is not biblically possible that Iran can truly be the leader of the Islamic world as it seems to want to be. Also because it is basically due east of Jerusalem, Iran should not be considered to be a candidate to be the final king of the south of biblical prophecy. Despite its posturing and relative military strength, Iran will be somehow effectively neutralized We draw that from Ezekiel 32, verse 24. This could perhaps be from an attack involving Israel and or internal civil unrest. This could also include electromagnetic, EMP, or similar weapons used against Iran. We draw that conclusion from Jeremiah 49, verses 34 through 39. It is of prophetic interest to note that a small nation of Israel is prophesied to one day be attacked by some that seem to have connection to Iran and its ally Syria. We see that in the book of Isaiah, or Isaiah, chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. In January 2021, it was reported the following, Iranian lawmakers have submitted a bill seeking the government by law to commit to Israel's destruction by the year 2040, Iranian state media ISNA reported. Iran may decide to strike out against Israel and likely Jerusalem. Again, we have that prophecy in Isaiah 22, verse 7 and 8. It might just decide to do it if it determines that it should. If it is frustrated with the Biden-Harris administration policies or delays, that may very well be a factor in it taking prophesied military action against the state of Israel. Iran has weapons that can cause damage. Furthermore, the USA itself, as well as the state of Israel, are vulnerable to EMP-type attacks 
and even items such as biological weapons, chemical weapons, terrorism, nuclear weapons, dirty bombs, etc. because of a conflict involving Iran, Syria and or others. But should this attack occur, this would not be the final destruction of the USA. Prophetically, Iran would not end up faring well because we see that in Ezekiel chapter 32 verses 24 and 25. So that was the quote from Dr. Bob Thiel's book, uh, and uh, it's a book on the prophetic events entitled Biden-Harris Prophecies and Destruction. You can download that book from internet for free, just like the services of the church Dr. Bob Thiel is heading, the continued church of God are also free of charge. Now, Iranian frustration with the Biden-Harris administration, as well as threats from Israel, may well embolden Iran to attack Israel consistent with prophecies in Isaiah 22. The continuing Church of God, of which Dr. Bob Thiel is the overseer, put together the, uh, the following Bible News Prophecy video on uh, their Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel, and the audio portion of which was sent who broadcast on the European Gospel radio station AM, indeed, uh, and that was uh, that was posted uh, basically this this month as well. And uh, in that video, as well as audio portion from this radio, uh, the information was put out with following questions and following comments. Well, European Union Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell has been brokering the nuclear negotiations involving Iran and said that he thinks the deal is in danger. Iran blames the United States, whereas the USA says they are not delaying it. Israeli sources stated that Israel will stop Iran from getting a nuclear bomb. Joe Biden says the USA would use its own military power to prevent Iran from getting such a bomb if need be. In 2021, Iranian lawmakers have submitted a bill seeking the government by law to commit to Israel's destruction by the year 2040. Does the 22nd chapter of Isaiah point to damage coming to Israel from Iran and possibly Syria? Might Iran be concerned enough about limited progress with the USA to launch some type of attack? Is Iran the prophesied king of the south? Is it reasonable to think that the prophesied peace deal of Daniel 9.27 will not happen until after a military conflict like a regional war. Should Christians watch the Middle East? Yes, indeed, Dr. Bob Thiel responded to all of those questions and discussed the matters with Steve Dupee. And uh, it was entitled Iran and Israel Conflict. Well, much earlier, we have already put out several texts as well as audio recordings related to this uh, coming regional nuclear war in the Middle East. You can certainly find it on our social platforms. Also, so far, we also had a video and as well as a uh, writing, a written article called Iran in Prophecy. Oh yes, the question is, is Iran in Bible prophecy? And if so, what does the Bible teach? What names other than Persia may be used to describe Iran? And there is also a YouTube video titled Iran in Prophecy that you can find on YouTube. Also, there is another article of related interest. It's called Jerusalem, Past, Present and Future. So the question is, what does the Bible say about Jerusalem and its future? Is Jerusalem going to be divided and eliminated? Is Jesus returning to the area of Jerusalem? So there were two related YouTube videos that you can watch entitled Jerusalem to be divided and eliminated and God's and Satan's plan for Jerusalem. Now, another related video you might say is called Judah is not a lost tribe and the Jews were not black. <laughs> well, because there is this funny notion about Jews being black. So are there prophecies about Judah? Yes. Where do many of his descendants live today? Another related video is Anglo-America in prophecy and the lost tribes of Israel. In other words, the question is, are the Americans, Canadians, English, Scottish, Welsh, Australians, 
Anglo, non-Dutch, Southern Africans and New Zealanders, descendants of Joseph. And where are the lost ten tribes of Israel? Who are the lost ten tribes of Israel? What will happen to Jerusalem and the Jews in Israel? Well, God will punish the USA, Canada, United Kingdom and other Anglo nations. Will he do it? Why might God allow them to be punished first? First, also we have the uh, another related video that might be of interest. And it's called the Peace Deal of Daniel 9.27. And this prophecy could give up to three and a half years advance notice of the coming great tribulation. Will most ignore or misunderstand its fulfillment? So, again, the uh, link to a related sermon video is uh, entitled Daniel 9.27 and the start of the great tribulation. Speaking of the tribulation, the question is also when will the great tribulation begin? Begin 2022-2023. Or 2024. The question is, can the Great Tribulation begin today? What happens before the Great Tribulation in the beginning of sorrow? What happens in the Great Tribulation and the Day of the Lord? Is this the time of the Gentiles? When is the earliest day the Great Tribulation can begin? What is the Day of the Lord? Who are the 144,000? You can find all of those all of those answers in a, a video entitled When Will the Great Tribulation Begin? 2022, 2024, or 2023 or 2024. So, dear friends, you can find some more news analysis of this sort uh, also not only on our uh, social platforms, including uh, YouTube, of course. Still, well before they perhaps take you down a censor it, you can still find it also on our website, www.biblenewsprophecy.net. You can find some more in-depth analysis of the current world events. And you can find certainly some answers to your, uh, I'm sure, uh, questions that you might have. So, uh, having to say all of this, I think these all topics can certainly get you interested and I'm sure these topics are very attractive to you so you need to really find out the uh, all of those video videos if you could all of those audio materials and you could listen to those and you can have your questions perhaps answered perhaps you're for the first time listening to, to questions like this to the issues like this well in that case you need to understand that one third of your Bible the one third of the Holy Scriptures is the prophecy. So, if you do not understand the prophecies, in fact, you cannot understand at least one-third of the Bible. On the other hand, those prophecies are related mostly to the house of Israel, from the very beginning to the very end. In other words, from the very beginning of the book to the very end of the book, the Bible, for the most part, is history of the house of Israel. Other nations are also mentioned in the Bible. And they are all usually mentioned when they come into contact with the house of Israel. And when there is a certain prophecy that would explain that explain to us what will be the fate of those nations in the end. So, yes, the Bible speaks about the United States of America. How could such a big power not be mentioned in the Bible? The Bible does speak about the British Commonwealth. How could such greatest group of nations be indeed ignored by the Holy Scriptures? Yes, the Bible also speaks about Russia, and we can call that Euro-Asian uh, Euro uh, bloc. It speaks about the union of As Asian nations, and uh, not only that, but the leading power in that un union will be Russia, closely allied with China. Both countries are mentioned in the Bible. And yes, indeed, the European Union is mentioned in the Bible, as well as Germany, the leading power in the European Union. And then we also have this House of Israel, because the, there is the modern House of Israel that is fulfilling in these last days what their father Jacob prophesied to them in Genesis 49. So, dear friends, you need to understand these things. You need to understand the times in which we are living. My name is Alexander Sastrovedi. This was Bible News Prophecy Program. Until next time, goodbye, friends.